Greetings and salutations, everyone. Featherhoof here. And I come before you today because uh, I feel that I finally can. Th th this has nothing to do... This has very little to do with the fact that the other video I posted today was a lot shorter than I had anticipated. And I really don't have much time to record anything else of a decent size. See, I had to put a little bit of humor in there because I am still feeling the feels right now, man. And... And I'm really trying to, still trying to wrap my head around it, really. Uh, it's why I felt like I had to make this vlog, because uh, to really give me myself a chance to sort of sort and work through the feelings, and also to let you newcomers know how excited I am to have you here on the channel. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Up until about last weekend, I was feeling kind of down about the channel. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, I, I still love making the videos. This shit is fun as hell. But it's like with any art, if you can really call it that, it... You want it to be seen, you know? And it's not like I was just sitting on my ass, twiddling my thumbs, expecting the views to come to me. I am, and still trying to spread the word, you know? It's just, but, but when you consistently see no views and a stagnant sub count, you know, and you feel like you're trying really hard, it'll get to you, at least a little. At one point, I reached out to someone for some advice. Someone whose work I'd followed for years, but never really spoken to. I... To be perfectly honest, I, I highly doubted I'd ever get a response, or that he'd even read it, to be perfectly honest. But I thought, eh, what's the worst that can happen, you know? I mean, at least I can say I tried. With no expectations of anything was going to come out of it. But his prompt response was both kind and supportive. And he at least said that he would take a look at my content, you know? Well, that was a while ago, and I figured that's where it ended, you know? I went to bed on the night of the 27th of September, with my phone buzzing and that, stu that little uh, Twitter notification icon on the top of the screen. I dismissed it. I didn't even bother to lock my phone to look at it. But when I woke up next morning to shut off my alarm, and I saw that in the Twitter feed of comedian to the Ranting Griffin was mentioning me and telling, you know, and linking to my channel and my videos and just promoting me completely out of the blue. And when I went over to my YouTube channel and saw that my subs had increased over 200% and the v videos of which he was promoting had mad views, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot imagine. You know, I suffered feels like you would not believe. I want you to imagine for just a minute that you're a small-time actor working in a failing and crumbling theater, okay? Just, just, just for the sake of example. And it, it, during one of your shows, a big-time actor, someone you love, walks in, sits down, and watches your show. Now, after your show, he walks up to you, shakes your hand, and says, you did a good job. But he doesn't stop there. On his way out of the theater, he tells everyone he passes to go in there and watch that show because you're in it. Th that may not have been to his intent, but that's how it felt. To me, obviously. But, Mr. Griffin, if you're watching, I just want to try and express with my words what I tried to convey in written text, and that is thank you. Thank you for what you did. The point of this vlog, besides confirming that I'm a long-winded, blubbering man-child, is this. Don't be afraid to ask. You know, you never know what's going to come of it. And, and, and there's just no shame, none at all, in asking for help. My blubbering and gushing aside, I, I will want to sort of go off topic a little bit. Uh, because I've, I've, I've started to put serious thought into what I want to do if for my 100 subscriptions milestone video. I don't know if we'll ever get that far, but, you know, riding on the waves of emotions of what just happened, you know, my mind just sort of jumped right, right to that. Plus, I think it's sort of a YouTuber tradition, you know, for at least from the channels that I watch. It seems that, you know, people sort of do a challenge video for their 100 subscription video. And I would like to that, you know, my first challenge video to be something special like that. You know, but I haven't really decided on which challenge I'd like to do. You know, the classic the cinnamon challenge or hot sauce, or I've been seeing Bean Boozled recently. But if there's a non-lethal, non-painful way for me to torture myself for your amusement, you know, to celebrate my continued appreciation for your support, let me know. But for such a video to even occur, it's going to fall to both me and you to continue support, you know, spreading the word. Here's to hoping for a continuing successful and entertaining future.
Well, that's all I have for now, so thank you so much for letting me sort through my feelings and everything. Uh, if you like this vlog, let me know with a like, comment, subscribe, or you can click on the annotations for other videos I've done. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.